the trolley. Yeah, we'll take you five lines with guys. What's up guys and welcome to the channel. Today we are in Harmon, Missouri and we are drinking wine and eating food. It is the weekend of our one year anniversary so we're out here enjoying some fun in the clouds. It's cloudy today. So let's get some food and drink some wine. There's a cat. What do you mean there's a cat? It's a porch cat. He is not interested. I'm going to give you a little description. Right. Tell you what all the markings are on those. And then, but wait, there's more. Drink this last. This is the wine cocktail. It's Reef's Taller Lemonade. Our first wine tasting. This is the weirdest wine tasting I've ever been to, though, because they're in. Oh, shot cups. Like, so, yeah, where, where are we at? We're at. I'm not sure how this is pronounced. Adam. We're at Adam Puchta. <laughs> Adam Puchta. Yeah, the first way is not the way you say it. How do you say it? We're I think at, it's Pukta, right? We're at Adam Pukta, correct me if I'm wrong. Winery. Winery. And this is our first stop. It is... 12.34 It's the tw It's 12.34 and we're, we're going to start drinking wine. I need to wines. have like all of these wines. All the ones that say sweet, I'm going to have one. So many wines. So excited to take you guys along for the adventure today. The Estate Norton. Dry red wine made from Norton grapes, slightly acidic up front, grape forward and mellow with a light oak no a nose, <laughs> ruby in color and a little lighter on the palate. Perfect by itself or with a meal. We're Empty not gonna stomach. do that. We're not gonna do that for every wine that we try this weekend because uh, it's gonna be a couple. I mean, I feel like we should. <laughs> Somebody, that'll be a 500 minute vlog. This place is awesome. This place is super awesome. Pretzels, wine, beautiful company. 10 out of 10 experience. Okay, so first wine tasting is over. We had some food. We're gonna go grab some pictures around the uh, property before we head to the next place. Get that Instagram content, yeah. Take some bangers for her. Yeah. Follow her on Instagram, at Gabrielle underscore Rich. I'm not sure what that name is, but so it's my name kind of mushed together with some of, with other parts of my name. It's all in there somewhere. Your name is Megan. I have a <laughs> Megan Gabrielle Eldridge. Yeah. So mush it, <laughs> smoosh it. Smooshed. You just gotta fold it in. Fold it in. Fold. just got to Stonehill Winery in Herman, Missouri. So we finished up at the first winery. This is the second one on our stop and we're getting ready to try some wine tasting here. And we've kind of made it a deal. Each winery we go to, we're gonna do a tasting and then one glass of wine so we don't get too shwasty shwasty. And an appetizer, okay. <laughs> and food to kind of balance it out. So this is actually overlooking most of the town of Herman. And we'll talk more about the town of Herman in a little bit. It's a really cool place though. I'm ready for some more wine. Sweet matters. <laughs>
All right, it is time for wine tasting number two. Stonehill Winery. Let's go. Wait, what is that in German? I don't know German. What's two in German? Let me know in the comments below. Marble <laughs> ride. Hey guys, we are at stop number three at Herman Hoff Winery. We are about to get some drinks here. I feel like I'm still pretty good. I think I need just a couple of little cheese bites to soak up everything. But we had a really good trolley ride. It was pretty lit on the way over here. That Best trolley party. ride was crazy, okay? The, yeah. If I hear WAP one more time today, I'm really gonna party. Wine tasting number three. And here we go. I'll be right over. Can I get salt on those? Yes. What do you think? That's good. Mm -hmm. Back of the trolley! in Herman. We went to all of them. Well, we didn't go to all of them, but we went to all of them that we could in a 12 to 6 p.m. time frame. We had a lot of wine, and uh, we're going to head back to the hotel, get checked in, and go to dinner. Maybe so, nap and then dinner. Maybe nap and then dinner. I don't know. I'm doing pretty good. I'm at a good place. I'm tired. <laughs> Let's go. This last one was awesome though. What's it called? Oak something or other? Oak Glen. Oak Glen. Please visit Oak Glen. It's awesome. Okay, so we booked a house. Apparently. We thought we were at the inn. But we're at a house. And we have absolutely no idea where we're going. The directions are Yellow House, River Suites, Come on. and then some door combinations. We're lost. Okay, on the second floor of the Herman Crown Suites. The suite. Herman Crown Suites? That? Does that look like the Herman Crown Suites? What's up guys? So we are back at the B&B that we rented, uh, which is at Harbor House in Herman. 
which it's gorgeous. It's basically a full house to ourselves and that's exciting. So we had a really good day at the wineries today, took the trolley, went around, party with a bunch of people, made some really good new friends and it was amazing. So the cool thing about Herman is this particular town is only about an hour away from where we live, which begs the question, how many cool places are within an hour from where you live? And why aren't you going there if they do exist? So that's why we decided to travel local, get out, enjoy an amazing evening within a, you know an hour of being at home. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, folks. We are headed to breakfast at Harbor House, included in our lovely stay at the uh, suite that we're at. So what's the plan for today? Breakfast. Um, get ready, check out, go get some chocolate, maybe look downtown a little bit, and then I like to go back to the Oakland winery because it's really pretty. <laughs> More wine. Okay. Very good. Hey, what, what kind of shoes are you wearing? Bar shoes. What kind of show, show us? <laughs> <laughs> They're bar shoes. So Megan only brought high heels <laughs> to this trip. So she's wearing socks. We have 30 minutes. Do I look cool? Do I look cool? Do I look cool? <laughs> so cool. Good morning. Oh, yes. Well, breakfast was good. Breakfast was actually exceptional. I had really good coffee and these really good, like, like little quiche bites. So we're gonna get ready and day two. Let's go. Man, I haven't given you the official tour of the b, b so I'm gonna grab the camera and do that. Stop of the day, the chocolate box. This is the appropriate place for us to be because Fernway in German actually is, well, it's kind of a synonym for wanderlust, which is what we're doing right now. Like we're getting out, we're traveling, we're doing as much as we can despite the pandemic, the COVID, whatever. You know, we've lived in Colombia for years, but have never actually taken the time to come out here and experience the town and come to find out. It's amazing. It's beautiful. There are so many places to eat. There are so many places to drink. And I haven't been disappointed once. It, the whole place has been amazing. Like the people are super friendly. The scenery is just beautiful. I would have never thought that this existed in Missouri, but it does. And we're here. So here's to satisfying that uh, wanderlust just a little bit. I'm so full. We just finished up lunch at Fernways and it was amazing. I had some Greek food. She had a brisket Christmas and mac and cheese, cheese sandwich. Hi. We're gonna finish the weekend by going back out to one of the wineries that we went to yesterday uh, to grab one more glass and also get some good pictures out there because it has a insane view. It's beautiful. Thoughts, comments? Just perfect weekend. I have no complaints, no, like everything was nice. The place we stayed was really nice. All the wineries we went to are delicious, food, great. Just, I don't want it to end. <laughs> <laughs> Back to real life yeah. in a day or two. We'll see you at Oak Glen. Glen. Oak Glen. Oak, Oak Glen. Yeah. 
Oak Glen. Oak Glen. Oak. Bye. We just finished our last stop at Oak Glen. Oak Glen. Oak Glen. I can't say that. That's hard. Oak Glen Winery. And we came out here to take some pictures. It is super harsh sunlight right now. As you can see, I'm like super overexposed. And uh, yeah, I think we're calling it quits. All in all, awesome weekend. Time to head back home and take care of Grocery shopping. Grocery shopping. And I was gonna dogs. say I was gonna say the dogs. Grocery shopping. Priorities. Oh, see, there's some good shade. Yeah, this place is gorgeous, but midday not the best lighting. Definitely come out at sunset. I'm not ready to go home, but I'm ready to go home. If that makes sense. Yeah, I'm ready for a Red Bull. <laughs> we will see you in the next one.